to darling. Julie Gopher, I'd like you to meet my ex-ex-ex-ex wife, the incomparable Betty Bricker. How do you do? Hi, how do you? So nice, nice to meet you. Well, it won't be Bricker much longer. Adam, I'd like you to meet the incomparable Lance Wilson, my betrothed. <laughs> Believe me, darling, it wasn't easy to replace you, but then Lance came along, and he's so immensely wealthy and successful. And of course, when it came to looks, there was no comparison. <laughs> Uh, welcome aboard, Lance. Hey. Hey, nice baby. Kid. Thank you. I bought it in the men's shop. All I did was sign your name. <laughs> yes, I'm not made of money. Nobody in theater expects an actor to supply his own wardrobe. Mm. Oh, well. It's just a bathing suit. And a new tuxedo and dress shirt. <laughs> Lance. I bought the bow tie. <laughs> Oh, by the way, we're having dinner at the captain's table tonight. Eight o'clock sharp. Really? Mm-hmm. I wonder what time it is now. A watch, too? That's a very important prop. Take it back. What's my motivation? My motivation is if you don't take it back, I'm going to break both your legs. That works for me. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we should... Maybe we should what? What's going on here? I was just taking something out of her eye. As a doctor, I take things out of ladies' eyes all the time. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe so. But that's not just any eye. That eye happens to be engaged to me. Now, take it easy. Look, buddy, you may be good at taking things out of eyes, but my specialty is putting things into eyes, namely my fist. <laughs> Adam, let me talk to him. Well, somebody better talk to him. Or I may just have to punch his lights out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Playing the part of a jealous lover. I thought it came off pretty well, didn't you? You're ruining everything. You see, I was trying to combine the characters of Cary Grant in one of his light comedies with Charles Bronson in Death Wish. You were marvelous. Thank you. Now, will you please leave? But I haven't finished the scene. An actor has to finish the scene. Otherwise, it's like telling Lady Macbeth, forget the part about stabbing the king. Hmm. All right, Lance. We'll both go. Well, I'm glad you understand. Because if Lady Macbeth doesn't stab the king, she is nothing but an ordinary dissatisfied housewife. <laughs>